Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be going over reading an enemy's energy state, as well as reading into his maneuvers, because you can gain quite a bit of valuable information by just watching what your enemy does. And I'm going to be using the next fight between myself and my Fucker Wolf 190 D13 and a Lavochkin LA7 B20. Now, as I'm pulling out over the top of my climb, I notice an uh, aircraft getting triple A below me. And when I zoom in, I can see it's uh, definitely an enemy, and he's coming towards me quite quickly, although he is climbing slightly. As I was just coming out of a dive, I've built up enough airspeed where I feel somewhat confident that I can go vertical again without him being able to follow me. Now watching what he does, he goes into a left hand turn and does not try to follow me into my climb. So that tells me that basically he realizes that he cannot follow me into the climb because his energy state is inferior to mine. And instead of being aggressive, he actually dives away and allows me to build up even more energy in the dive following him. Now those first few seconds of the fight were incredibly critical, because even though he came into the fight with a slight disadvantage, his aircraft does perform better than mine at these low altitudes, in most regards. That being the case, he would have wanted to try to get me to burn as much of my energy as he could. When he went defensive there, after my initial zoom climb, he pretty much solidified my advantage over him and put himself in a very bad position to try and regain any sort of advantage over me. So now all I have to do is not make any mistakes, and this fight should be in the bag. His energy state is much lower than mine, and I'm able to just continuously boom and zoom him, and he can do very little now, as the performance gap between our two aircraft at the moment will not play a factor. So now my goal is to keep attacking him and not allow him to gain any sort of foothold that he can use over me. Although he does make it easy here and pulls straight up in front of my guns, allowing me to put a nice hole into his left wing route, basically rendering his aircraft useless in a fight now, as he won't be able to turn Hardly at all. And his only option now is to try and make a break for his airfield, which I'm not going to allow him to do. You can't outrun a 190 D13 in a dive when you're in an LA-7. While it's a fast aircraft, it doesn't have the weight necessary to build up the momentum needed to get away. And I was able to finish him off quite quickly. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe I'll catch you next time. Happy hunting.